pipe off. Oh no shit. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna run down. Okay. I go I'm just gonna roll it down.
What's up Mopar fam? I hope everybody's having a blessed day out there. So today's video, we are uh, talking about frostbite and how we did with frostbite at the track, at the rock, uh, when we went to North Carolina uh, a couple weeks ago. Um, bear with me, I do have a cold and uh, not feeling the best, but trying to get some of these videos ironed out. But I'm going to do my best. And uh, we're just going to kind of jump to the three most important uh, time slips for the class that we was running in and um, briefly talk about kind of more or less what went down with the truck and uh, how we did. So obviously um, we were running Frostbite in the same class as we did Zorro and Storm. We were running in what they call the Dodge Direct Connect. Um, pretty much kind of similar to like a Hemi shootout deal. Um, and uh, it's basically an index racing class. So you're trying to be the fastest in that time bracket. Um, so whether you run, you know, eight seconds all the way up to say 15 seconds, you're just trying to run three consecutive passes and have the best average in that index. Um, so in my case, obviously we were shooting for the 10 -0 class. Um, we were trying to be the fastest in the 10s. Um, and obviously as we guys, <clears throat> and obviously as we all know on the track, usually with good, uh, conditions and prep, uh, frostbite has been running killer 10 O passes. So it is definitely, you know, a contender for that. Um, and that is why we, we pushed it for the 10 O class. Now, um, as you've seen in some of the, the video content, we were spinning. Uh, we were having some traction issues big time. Uh, the track, to me, um, you know, for at least our class we were running in, it didn't seem like the track prep was very good, in my opinion, um, just from racing my truck on other tracks. But all in all, we had fun. Biggest thing was, you know, we usually have my two step set at about 4,000 RPM. And that's where we leave and we can usually 60 foot, you know, one, three, 60 foots, you know, uh, has been my best. And at the, you know, usually our average is like a one, four, 60 foot. Um, but we were not able to do that. Um, all of my test passes, we were, we were blowing the tires up. It was just insane. So we were, so basically I turned my, my two step down to, 2000 rpm that is the lowest i have ever launched frostbite ever we have never had to leave the line that soft and that's what it took to get down the track um fast for me you know that I, we had to turn it down big time on uh on the track on the train you know for the trans brake and two-step and uh so that's what we did to try to run consistent numbers now, as you've seen at the very beginning, um, you know, we this was our first trip out on the track with the new Hellcat throttle body. And as you've seen, <laughs> my first pass, uh, my first practice run during the burnout, we didn't even make it through the burnout. We blew the um, we blew the the charge pipe off and <laughs> basically we lost everything. And uh, I couldn't even make the pass. So we had some issues that we fought with also before we really even started the racing on Saturday. So that wasn't the only time we blew that pipe off. Um, on my next practice run, we blew it off again, even after, um, you know, clamping it down stupid tight. Um, putting some uh, 3M adhesive spray on the throttle body. It still blew it off. So long story short, what we did to, uh, to fix it and get through the race event, um, luckily in time before, you know, we actually had to run our actual um, index passes, I ended up stealing the clamp off of my diesel truck my uh 2017 ram 2500 with a cummins um 
I had to take one of my intercooler clamps off of that truck because you know those clamps are really really heavy duty and I put it on frostbite and clamp the crap out of it with some 3m adhesive spray and that actually worked it kept the pipe from blowing off of that hellcat throttle body um and uh so yeah there was that we had that issue but we got through it and uh not going to really go over today but we have kind of resolved that issue from ever happening again hopefully um, so moving past that point, let's talk about the three passes that we had and uh, how they went. So on pass number one, this is the time slip. Um, as you can see, you know, the 60 foot's not terrible, but for me, that's terrible because we do much better than that usually. Uh, we're in the left lane. Um, we had a 150, uh, 1.50, 60 foot. Um, we ran a 10 and a quarter, um, so we ran a 1025 at 130, um, almost 131. And for the DA that we was in under those conditions, that that's uh, that is that's fantastic. Um, in my eyes, the, the Hellcat throttle body definitely is helping us um, because in you know in this warmer air, I am still running deep tens and trapping. You know a little bit more mile an hour than i used to during this time of year um so that was awesome so first pass you see we ran a 1025 and you know i was looking and i was pretty stoked about that i was feeling like we were you know that was pretty good and uh we were going to move on to you know round two second passes and, and go from there and see what happens so here we go so uh round two Pass two, I'm in the right lane, and on this pass, I tried to turn up the two-step 1,000 RPM, guys. We went from 2,000 RPM launch to 3,000 RPM launch, and you can see what happens. Um, like I said, we just was not having good luck on that track, and uh, my 60-foot went to a 166, um, so we went another tenth slower in the 60-foot. We were spinning. Um, and the ET quarter mile ET you can see shows that uh, we ran a 1073 um, basically annihilating the tires and we trapped actually a little bit more mile per hour this run um, this was a couple hours later and it was actually starting to cool down um, and the DA was actually going down a little bit because of a a prior storm that had just went through earlier that day so the temperatures was kind of dropping but you see we trapped 132 i was stoked um, but we blew the tires up so on this pass i pretty much you know when i got this time slip i was like man i i already know you know there's probably no way we're gonna be a contender in this 10-0 class um, with this time slip right here this was probably going to be the one that, that killed us um, unless I got lucky and somebody, you know, spins or have some issues or something like that similar. Maybe we could do maybe we could possibly still be in this thing. But this pass right here absolutely killed us, guys. So let's move on to pass three, um, pass three. On pass three, things got a little bit more spicy, so I went back to the same settings we had for pass one. I turned a two-step back down to 2,000, um, and that netted us the same 60-foot pretty much. We went back down to a 150, 60-foot, um, and as you can see, the time on this was 8.30, roughly p, uh, p.m. The sun was down. It was, it was pretty much almost dark, much cooler, um, and the truck was on a rail um, if only we could hook from you know 4,000 4,500 rpm launch um, this probably would have netted us our nine second pass right here guys um, we tried more mile per hour than i have even in the winter that is a 134.97 we trapped 135 miles an hour right here almost and uh we were hauling guys um just sucks because with this time slip 
if our second time slip would have been at least around a 10 and a quarter, um, we would have won the 10 second bracket. Um, without a doubt, um, the guy that won it, he, he won the 10 second bracket, I believe with a 10 30 average. Um, so it wasn't even, you know, like deep solid tens. He won it with a 10 30 average. So we could have won that class easily. Um, if we would have had our second pass be a little bit better than that 1076. <clears throat> but it is what it is. That is racing, guys. Um, but at the end of the day, guys, we trapped 135 miles an hour on a stock block 57, running 20 uh, almost 21 pounds of boost on those logs, is what Ryan told me. And uh the stock 57 is just holding in there, guys. I mean, we have a fast truck a, a fast stock 57 for that matter and uh i'm stoked can't wait to see what the rest of this year brings for the truck um and then going into the winter we're definitely going to try to push for the nine second pass hopefully um throughout the summer i uh, i don't know if it's possible but i think we have a chance if not, I know this winter we're going to get our nine. So stay tuned. Uh, we got more stuff coming. Uh, the next video coming up is going to be uh, about Project Storm and how it did in its class. And I'm just going to kind of give you a teaser. Project Storm did awesome. So stay tuned for that. And uh, we got a lot of stuff coming up for Zorro as far as mods and videos coming too. So as always, guys, stay safe out there. Don't forget, give video a thumbs up. We'll see you guys on the next one.